What's up, it's Cinema Show Gun here, and as we speak, hundreds of deranged Britney Spears fans are trying to get my YouTube account and my Instagram account suspended and removed. Why, you ask? Well, because I showed some concern for Britney Spears' mental health, and because I expressed that I believe that Britney Spears might not really be free, and for some reason, this drives a portion of her fan base absolutely crazy. And the point of me making this video, it's not for sympathy. I'm not here to be like, oh, woe is me. I'm under attack by Britney Spears fans, even though I am. The point of this video is to point out what I've been trying to express to you all for a while now. That if you mention anything about Britney Spears maybe not being okay, if you even slightly mention that she might not be free, and if you say, you know, something's up here, something's odd, these people go absolutely insane on you. And I've had tons of Britney Spears fans reach out to me, expressing to me that they feel like that they no longer have a voice in the free Britney movement or whatever else is going on because their voices are being squashed out by these totally insane people that do not allow any room for discourse or discussion. And now they're coming after my channel all because I'm concerned about Britney Spears, which is weird because I thought the Free Britney movement was about freeing Britney. I thought it was about giving Britney back her voice. And I thought people within the Free Britney movement all had, for the most part, I know everyone's different, but all had the basic set of core values that freedom of speech and freedom of expression and freedom of being yourself is important. However, a portion of this movement are just like totalitarian in nature. Like they don't, they don't allow anyone to say anything. They go absolutely insane. And I find it odd because they go to like whatever length necessary to try to shut down anyone who says something. And at this point, I'm questioning like, What's really behind this? Yeah, don't get me wrong. I know there's some fans, crazy fans out there that just want to go crazy about anything. I mean, that's the world that we live in. But it's starting to feel like there's like, there's something behind this. Maybe even something more behind it. Maybe it's in someone's best interest if people don't question if Britney's okay. Maybe it's in someone's best interest if we don't question her mental health. Who that person could be, I don't know, but it, it doesn't feel genuine. That's kind of the point that I'm trying to make here. It doesn't really feel genuine. When you go on Britney Spears' Instagram account, which is now deleted, you can see that nowadays, finally, over the past few weeks or month or so, people have finally started speaking up and showing concern. And when you see the people who try to shut down everyone who shows concern, it's starting to feel almost like, I don't know, I, I can't put my finger on what I'm really trying to say here but it just doesn't feel authentic and genuine. It doesn't feel like genuine, authentic fans all feel this way or anything. It feels like almost there's this other, I don't know, group or something that's pushing this, this, you know, thought of, oh, we can't question anything about Britney anymore. Britney's free, no, no, nothing to see here. No longer can you ask questions. You know what I mean? But, you know, someone sent me, a message. I was trying to get to the bottom of what was happening here because I was experiencing some issues on Instagram and my YouTube views have been down for the past couple of days. And usually the way I am with social media, I don't get on there and check my messages every day. Although I may be on social media once or twice a day, I don't check my messages because my inbox is often flooded with a lot of crazy stuff. Don't get me wrong. There's more positive than negative, you know? So I don't want to, you know, not acknowledge that. But, you know, when you get messages like, hey, you know, I really like what you're doing, you know, I support the channel, and you get four or five of those messages, and then you get that one message that's just like, hey, you know, I hate your channel, and I'm going to murder you when I see you, you know, and stuff like that, that it kind of throws you off. So I always have weird, crazy people that are upset about what I'm talking about in my inboxes on social media. And I understand it just comes with what I do. And you know, like I said, I can handle it. I'm a big boy. I can handle a few hundred deranged Britney Spears fans coming after me. 
but this is one of the reasons why I operate the way I do, you know? Now I understand why people like that umbrella guy and other people on YouTube, they literally have cartoon characters and they never show who they are or say who they are. And that's why I don't get too personal on this channel because I'm definitely aware of the fact now that as I cover different stories, every new story I cover, it brings in a new audience. And with that new audience, there comes a certain amount of crazy and there comes a certain amount of hate. And you know, that's why I don't get too personal on my channel. People wanna know what's my real name? Where do I live? Why aren't my dogs in my videos all the time? It's because I'm literally dealing with psychopaths every single day, every story I cover. And I will say this, I thought Amber Heard fans were bad and they were pretty bad. I can say that for a fact, but these Britney Spears fans, they take the cake. You know, because at least with the Amber Heard situation, I kind of understood why I, why I was getting hate because I was, you know, against Amber Heard. And, and you know, maybe I, w I was on Johnny's side and sometimes I would say negative things about Amber Heard. I don't like Amber Heard. There's no secret there. So I understood why Amber Heard fans would come after me to a certain extent. But when it comes to the Britney Spears situation, I'm not here because I don't like Britney Spears or I hate Britney Spears. I'm literally here genuinely concerned about her life, her safety, her mental health and her well-being. And for some reason that just drives people off the wall. So that's why I say that the, at least this small portion of the Britney Spears fan base is probably the worst people that I've dealt with so far. Now, while I say that, I do have to acknowledge there are also more positive than negative Britney Spears fans that are coming forward to me, they've been extremely helpful. Some of them have let me know, you know, if I ever need any information when I cover this topic or whatever, that they, they you know, will help me out. They've been extremely helpful. They've been really nice. And <clears throat> a lot of them have expressed that they feel like they can't say anything, you know, and they're happy that I'm speaking up about it. And, you know, I guess, I don't know what... What finally caused me to actually just, you know what, I gotta do this, but I will say that these Britney Spears videos that I've made on my channel have to be, I don't think the word is like the, the most fun I've had making videos, but the most relieved because I was sitting there for months, you know, all this stuff was going down with Britney Spears and I didn't touch on it. I didn't say anything because it's, it, it's not necessarily any of my concern. I only started getting concerned once I noticed this pattern of like weird behavior. And I, I just really got that feeling inside, you know, that something's up here and something's wrong. And when I get that feeling, I trust that feeling. I'm not here with any ulterior motives or, you know, I, I don't, I'm not here to gain anything from this situation. A lot of people think, oh, you're talking about Britney Spears because you need views and you need money. You want to make money off the situation. My subscribers don't really care about Britney Spears. They would love for me to talk about something else besides this. And you could check my channel. Basically, almost anything I talk about performs better than this Britney Spears stuff. Britney Spears isn't the most relevant topic in the world anymore these days. Although I know a lot of her fans believe that, she's not. And I'm not saying that as a slight against Britney, that's just the reality. But as I was trying to pinpoint, you know, where's all this hate coming from that's being directed towards me? And I take days out every now and then, like yesterday, I was finally going through my inboxes on Instagram and Twitter and replying to people. And listen, I know I suck at social media. I suck at replying to people and I'm trying to get better. But one of the reasons that I'm turned off from it is because I'm always dealing with crazy people from whatever new, new, new story I'm covering. But there's always positive and awesome messages and awesome people in there as well. So I'm trying to to have a bigger social media presence because I feel like it's an easier way for us to communicate. Like you could follow me and what I'm doing and we could have conversations about whatever the hell we want to talk about on Twitter. You could see what I'm up to on Instagram. I could see what you're up to. And that's a better way for me to connect with my viewers than YouTube sometimes because the YouTube comment section is awesome. But it's a more personal experience on social media. So I would love for you all to follow me. I actually don't have a big following on social media. 
so often it's like I'm on there just to receive a bunch of crazy stuff because most of my subscribers are here on YouTube and they don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter. So it becomes kind of pointless when I'm just there to receive all of this nonsense. But I think I pinpointed where a lot of this hate is coming from because I got this one message from uh, Lisa Harris on Instagram and do not message this person or bother this person in any way, but I just want to give you all my little sample size of what I'm dealing with here on a day-to-day -day basis from some of these insane people. <clears throat> Here's the message. You need to just keep your mouth shut about Brit. You don't know jack about her telling false information. Number one, she was in a, she was in a conservatorship for 13 years, not 15. Pause. For one, from the beginning of my Britney coverage all the way up until the last video I made about Britney, I make it clear on every video that I am not here pretending to be a Britney Spears expert, that I do not consider myself part of the Britney Spears movement. I don't know the ins and outs of everything Britney Spears has dealt with, although I have a good grasp about what happened to her during the conservatorship, and I have an idea of what landed her there. I don't know every single last detail and never will I ever pretend to. My subscribers know that I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a Britney Spears fangirl, I'm just a guy that shares my opinions and my subscribers turn in because they are tuned in because they want to listen to my opinions, whether they agree with them or not. So never do I ever pretend to be something that I'm not. I'm not a big Britney Spears fan, and you know, I'm not someone who knows everything about her life. Did I say that she was in a conservatorship for 15 years? Maybe, probably, I make mistakes in my videos sometimes, and often when something's like 13, 12 years, 14 years, I'll say 10 or 15 years, because that's how I talk. But let's go on with what else they have to say. Do your research, dude. I have, that's why I could point out all of the stuff that I did on her Instagram profile and how all of these dates and these pictures don't add up. I'm the one that started bringing that to light. I do my research. The problem is other people don't. You get online, you see the Instagram and you see that Britney's like, oh, I, I took this picture six months ago. Well, sorry that I proved that that was a lie. Sorry that I proved that a lot of the stuff on Britney's Instagram account is a lie and that a lot of these pictures are recent and that they were lying about a baby bump and all that other stuff. So yeah, I do my research. The reality is other people don't. You just get force fed or you just eat up whatever BS they sell you. Her wedding was not fake. Hey, I didn't say her wedding was fake. I said it looked fake. And she didn't let Jason in her house. Never, ever, ever did I state that she let Jason in her house. And her wedding did not look like a ritual. Oh my God, this is just like almost like you're hitting all the talking points here. Her wedding looked off to me and I'll be honest about it. I don't care. They all looked a lot better than you. I agree. Selena Gomez, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, they all look better than me. At least you are right about one thing. There was no dog poop. She was dancing around with her dog Sawyer. Correction. I can guarantee you for 100% fact Britney Spears often is surrounded by dog poop while she does her dances and her, her little fashion show videos. It's something I pointed out on one of my first Britney Spears videos. It's one of the things that I really was like, man, God, I got to say something at this point. When she was like twirling around, just dodging, barely dodging, smearing her feet in dog poop, I was like, man, this is just getting out of control. So yeah, um... There's definitely videos of her surrounded by dog poop on her floor. And I don't know what they're talking about as far as dancing with Sawyer. It had to be photoshopped. Yeah, because someone is photoshopping pictures of dog poop onto Britney Spears' Instagram account. Like what everything that I've ever pulled up has been directly from her account. There is no photoshopped dog poop. And Right here, this is where I know that you're full of it because you say that there was no dog poop and then literally in your next sentence, you say it had to be Photoshopped. The dog poop had to be Photoshopped. So in your mind right now, in your mind, as you're typing me this BS message, you're, cr you're crumbling, your own narrative is crumbling and your reality is just shattering. You're realizing there's no dog poop. 
I didn't see any. And then you're like, wait, oh, there was some dog poop. It had to be Photoshopped. I'm like, okay, okay, uh, if you say so. She's a freaking dancer, you idiot. So of course she's gonna dance, twirl, and make videos and where she pleases. <laughs> Britney Spears is a dancer. That's why it concerns me when I see her videos where she's supposedly dancing and she's just like, meh, 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 and then starts spinning around in circles 24 seven. Plenty of diehard Britney Spears fans have reached out to me and have expressed that they don't understand why this woman is doing these weird, just crazy off the wall dances when she has tons of training in choreography. Britney Spears knows how to dance. Britney Spears can dance. She was trained in dancing for years. So why is she on her Instagram account spinning in circles looking like a six-year-old all the time? You know, people are concerned about that because often people who are going through mental issues, they're like spinning around. That's just the reality of life. I'm sorry. It hurts and it sucks that Britney may be having a mental breakdown or maybe someone just is trying to make it look like she is I don't really know at this point. All I know is that there's something that's not right and it's very obvious that it's not right. And it, it it's just getting out of control in my opinion, but okay, okay. <laughs> she is not confined to her house, you idiot. Like I said, they are hitting all the points that I'm trying to make. So why doesn't she leave? Why is she always in the same living room? Why is the one picture or two pictures that we're taking of her with her husband on her wedding in that same living room? Hell, why weren't even they why weren't they even real pictures? They were screenshots from a video. Why does Sam have professional photo shoots at his wedding, but Brittany doesn't have a single professional photo? Why is her wedding at her house if her house was her prison for so many years? Here you are, supposedly part of the Free Britney movement saying that Britney wasn't confined to her home, yet half of the talking point of the Free Britney movement was that Britney was confined and couldn't live her life. So which one is it? Because things have not changed. If you ask me, things have only gotten worse. Yes, yeah, she's had this little marriage. That's the only highlight that you could say is a positive about anything that's happened since this stuff supposedly ended. It, to me, it looks like it's gotten drastically worse. You talk as if you know her personally, when you know nothing about her whatsoever. Lisa Harris, look at me in my eyes. You don't know Britney Spears personally. You will never know Britney Spears personally. I can tell you for almost a 100% fact, I probably have a better chance at getting to know Britney Spears personally than you do. Which is why I'm here making this video and you're over there on Instagram crying because I'm concerned about Britney Spears' mental health. You do not know Britney Spears. I do not know Britney Spears. You're entitled to your own opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to like me. I'm not here to make people like me. I'm not concerned about who likes and who hates me. I'm only concerned about being myself and being true to myself and being true to what I believe. So let's not sit here and pretend like you could throw stones at me for not knowing Britney personally when you don't either. So, I mean, come on, bro. It's not like you're her sister. Is this Jamie Lynn? Jamie Lynn Spears? I was watching her show not too long ago. What's that show called? I think it's on Paramount Plus. Zoe 101. All right. Talking about watching shows. I watch your show. And one more bad word about Brit. And I am creating a movement to have your Instagram and YouTube shut down. I have already talked with hundreds of her fans about you and they are all behind me 100%. One more time, dude, just one more time. So this is when it's getting crazy. This is when it's getting beyond, oh, you know, we disagree about Britney Spears, you know, to the point where you're basically threatening me. You're talking about creating a movement to get me removed. Do I need to contact my lawyer right now? I think I do. Maybe after this video, I will. But um, <laughs> seriously, this is the type of stuff 
that people deal with when they try to speak out about Britney. It's not done, though. Let's see. There's a few more things. I think you owe Brit a big, huge apology. Oh, and the fun you are poking at her on her video about her therapy? She was performing a skit show, you idiot. Listen, if you haven't already, go back and watch my video about Britney Spears making a video that's supposedly supposed to be a, scare, a therapy skit. Watch it and you tell me what you think. I made that same point in my video. I told people, you watch it and you let me know what you think. And then I'll tell you what I think. If you haven't, please go watch it. And you let me know if it seems like something that's coming from a totally sane person that isn't going through something. She is not crazy, jerk. Do you seriously not get what she was doing? Really? Are you this stupid? And her video talking British was a show. Her grandmother is British. What? I may be confused here, like I stated at the beginning of this video. I don't know that everything that Britney Spears does. Is Britney Spears on a show currently? Does Britney Spears play a British woman on a show? I didn't think so. The video that they're talking about, it's not a show. It was a video posted to Britney's Instagram account where she was talking in a British accent. And I showed concern because I know, even though I'm not a diehard Britney fan, I know that Britney has this alter ego, alternate personality that's a British woman. And often when she's going through a lot, she's dealing with some things mentally, when she's at her most stressful points in life, she falls back into being this British woman. So that's why I express concern because Britney is out here speaking in a British accent and we know that the last time she literally had this huge meltdown, that's what she was doing as well. So honestly, I don't even know if a lot of these people that have clung to this movement even know what the hell they're really talking about or what they're fighting for. And like I've expressed, I don't think they really care about freedom or anything like that. They just care about the entertainment, feeling like they're a part of something. And I'm not saying everyone in this movement, a lot of people in this movement genuinely care about her. They care about her mental health and they still care about her to this day and just wanna make sure that she's okay. These people like this, I believe they're total nuts and I think that there's a possibility that there's something bigger behind why there's all of these accounts out there that attack you when you say something or when you speak up. There's something like, like cause what do these people have to gain? You know, what, what is there to gain by threatening everyone who speaks out concerned about Britney? You know what I mean? Is there someone with something to gain behind all of this? Maybe someone that still wants control over Britney Maybe someone that doesn't want people talking about her mental health. We'll get to that in a moment, but let's just go ahead and finish this little <clears throat> message out. Her grandmother is British. As I said earlier, do your research. She was being fancy and it was a show, you idiot. See, you know nothing about her, so keep your mouth shut. Honestly, a big fat cheeseburger. <laughs> Listen. I'm all for roasting people. I'm all for cracking jokes. So, you know, if you don't like me and you want to say something about me in the comments below, fine. That's cool. At least make it funny. You know, I appreciate good humor, dark humor, a good joke. I could crack jokes on myself. I like a good joke that's cracked on me. Honestly, a big fat cheeseburger, you're coming across like a six-year-old. Like that's something that I maybe would have heard in elementary school. So I really question the mental state you're in and how old you even are to be out here threatening people the way you are. You know what I mean? That's the best you could come up with. But just to hammer home the real message that was came across here. I am creating a movement to have your Instagram and YouTube shut down. I have already talked with hundreds of her fans about you and they are behind me 100%. One more time, dude, just one more time. So that's basically a threat trying to silence me. Trying to silence me when all I've done is show concern for Britney's mental health and express that maybe she isn't free. 
we all know the stuff that happened to Britney was absolutely crazy. Do y'all really think that there's that there is nothing else going on here? Do y'all think that just with the snap of a finger, all of this goes away? It's a possibility. I mean, that's a fairy tale ending for sure. But life isn't a fairy tale. And I do find it concerning that all of these people are coming together to attack people who are concerned that she may not be free yet, almost as if they don't want that to start spreading. They don't want people to talk about the fact that maybe Britney's still being controlled. You know, my personal opinion, this is just my personal opinion here. In all honesty, how can I word this? In my opinion, Britney Spears' family, like her family, her dad, or whoever you want to label as public enemy number one, they were like the face, the figurehead, if you will, of the conservatorship. When in reality, there's people far more powerful behind the scenes that are pulling the strings. In my opinion, regardless if the conservatorship is over or not, Britney Spears will probably never really be free because Britney Spears is a part of all of this crazy Hollywood madness. Child stars, people like Britney, a lot of things are done to them throughout their childhood and as they grow older. Things that I can't even talk about on this YouTube channel. So in my opinion, Britney Spears is probably never going to be free. And the control over Britney Spears happened a long time ago. And the family is really the least of the worries. And this is one of the main reasons why I'm so interested in the Britney Spears story. It's not only because I'm concerned about her and her mental health, but I think this, uh, this shines a spotlight on what's happening here to a lot of these celebrities and a lot of these crazy people in Hollywood, they do stuff like this. If you think what happened or what you know happened to Britney Spears is bad, that's a walk in the park compared to what's really going on behind the scenes. You know, I would argue that Britney Spears has probably had some way worse things done to her than you know of and that I know of. And that goes for anyone, no matter how familiar you are with this movement. So in my honest opinion, regardless if the father or whoever's removed or not, there's still someone there controlling Britney. And it's not like this is just a unique case with Britney Spears. No, it's like that for a lot of celebrities and a lot of these super, you know, popular people in Hollywood. Also, I'm kind of pessimistic when it comes to things like this. I'm a, a glass half full top, type of guy. I'm a really positive type of guy. But when it comes to things like this, not so much. I find it sometimes hard to believe that there's still people left in this world that really want to help people. And I don't mean that about necessarily all of you all, but these powerful people. I find it hard to believe that some powerful people, lawyers, whoever, decided, you know what, let's help Britney Spears and let's get her out of this conservatorship because it's the right thing to do. No, I don't believe that necessarily. And sorry if that's me being pessimistic. Like I said, I, I'll admit I'm pessimistic when it comes to things like this. I believe someone saw an opportunity to gain something more than likely. So yeah, we could remove Britney's family and then we'll usher ourselves in. Oh, wait, Britney Spears, your, your dad's taking how much money from you? And your sister's getting what from you? And you're paying for this? Oh, how can we figure out a way to get them out of the situation? And here I come and now I replace your dad. Little Jim and Timmy and Sarah over there, they're going to replace your sister. And other people step in to get that same money to reap those same benefits off of Brittany. And in Brittany's mind, it's like, yay, my father is gone. Not realizing these other people have literally just taken their own control. So in my mind, I highly doubt that there's people in Hollywood that just really love and care about Britney and want to get her out of this conservatorship because it's the right thing to do. No, I think it's probably for some type of 
financial gain, obviously. You know what I mean? Now, is that 100% fact? Am I sitting here telling you, oh, this is exactly what's happening, everyone? No, I'm expressing my opinion here. And that is my opinion. I don't believe this fairy tale story about people all of a sudden caring about Britney Spears and freeing her from a 13 year conservatorship. I don't believe it. I believe people saw an opportunity there and yeah, maybe they freed her so they could gain something. But I just, I don't, I don't, I, I, I have a hard time believing that this is all just all dandelions like they make it out to be. You know, I, there's something else behind this. And when you have these people attacking anyone who speaks out, it almost, it doesn't reaffirm that 100%, but it makes you think, you know what I'm saying? It really makes you think like, what, what are you gaining from this? Why are you so adamant about people no longer talking about Britney Spears' freedom? Why are you so obsessed with crushing anyone who speaks out about her mental health? And listen, I see the arguments that these type of Britney Spears fans try to make. I may not speak on it because I'm an observer. Before I'm a speaker or someone who says anything about something, I sit back quietly and I observe. So the narrative that a lot of these fans will push is that they don't want anyone questioning if Britney's okay or talking about Britney's mental health because that's what led her to be put into a conservatorship in the first place. And you know what? I couldn't disagree with that more. People being concerned, truly concerned about Britney Spears and her well-being is not what landed her in this conservatorship. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It's that no one that cared about her was in her corner and making sure that she was okay while she was suffering with the issues that she was suffering from. And mind you, the issues, the issues that Britney has, those are, it's not her fault. These are problems that were created by Hollywood and Britney's parents. So I don't blame Britney for whatever she goes through mentally or whatever she goes through necessarily in her life. So Britney Spears was placed into this conservatorship because <clears throat> a lot of this activity was allowed to go unchecked because no one cared. And people only started caring when they realized, hey, we could use Britney's mental health against her. So in this situation, when she supposedly just got freed and her automatic response is to start doing a bunch of crazy stuff online, me showing concern is the exact opposite. It's me trying to make sure she doesn't wind up right back to where we came from in the first place because if anyone in their right mind looked at her Instagram account for 15 minutes, you would see that there's something very obviously wrong with her mental state or possibly someone's trying to make it look that way. So no, people questioning if Britney's okay, that's not what's gonna land her in a conservatorship. What's going to land her in a conservatorship is basically applauding all of this stuff that isn't something that you should applaud. Applauding all of these mental breakdowns that she's having online. That's what's gonna lead her to being controlled again if she's not still being controlled in the first place because I honestly don't believe that Britney Spears has free control over her life, her body, or what she does. There's just too many things that just stick out to me with this woman and with this situation. And I know in my heart, deep down, that something is very obviously not right. You know, from the way she dances to the way she types to the type of stuff she posts to her always trying to pull her pants down in her videos and in her pictures, that's something I notice. not because it's like, oh, oh my God, Brittany, pull your pants back up. It's 2022. I see far worse every day. I could walk outside and see homeless people humping on the corner more than likely. The reality is I point that out because it's something that's been programmed within Brittany. That every time she's in front of a camera, she feels the need that she has to start taking her pants down. Even in her wedding video, she goes to try to take her pants down. Then she realizes, oh, 
I don't have pants on, I'm in a dress. So you see that moment of realization because this is something that Brittany, Brittany doesn't just decide, hey, I'm going to walk to the camera and take my pants down because this is what I like to do. No, this is something that's been programmed inside this woman probably since a teenager or even younger than that. So there's a lot of little things that I point out and it may seem like I'm being nitpicky, but no, I'm just being observant. Okay, I never just was like, oh, let me look at Britney Spears. Oh my God, what is this on Britney Spears' Instagram account? Let me go make a video. I never did that. I sat back for months on end, just patiently watching, being patient, realizing, okay, you know, she just got out of the situation. Maybe there will be a little bit of odd behavior, but maybe it will correct itself out. But then as you just keep going and going and going, and there's a dog poop. There's Britney just going absolutely insane on this video. Here's another nude and another nude. Is that a bruise on Britney Spears' collarbone? Why is she talking in a British accent? Why is she always in the same room? It was just too many things adding up and that's why I came forward and started talking about this. Because this situation interests me, you know, from multiple different directions. And people would probably think, if you look at my YouTube channel, you might think that I'm really into like celebrity gossip and celebrity news and stuff like that, but I'm not. In fact, I'm kind of like the exact opposite of that. I'm into the Britney Spears story or situation because I'm concerned about her and I think it shines a spotlight on the wicked stuff going on in Hollywood. As far as like the Johnny Depp situation. I was into the Johnny Depp situation. Yes, I like Johnny Depp but because I thought it had a bigger impact on our society. You know, I, I thought it really had a big impact on our society and how we view victims moving forward, how we view DV and SA and all of these things moving forward. I thought it was a conversation that needed to be had for a long time because this believe all victims, believe all women, just, you know, you, you just can't, it, it was going down this weird path where people were just getting taken out and some people were bad people, but other people were totally innocent. And it became a point where like everyone was just guilty until proven innocent. So I felt like the Johnny Depp trial was a big step forward in getting rid of all of that madness. So that's one of the reasons why I was interested in that. When it comes to the Will Smith situation, I was interested in the Will Smith situation because obviously it was funny, it was shocking, it was entertaining, but also because I felt like it had a bigger impact on our society because I feel like we're getting to this point where people are totally intolerant of other people's words, jokes, and opinions. This right here is a perfect example. Will Smith going and slapping Chris Rock, perfect example. It basically shined a spotlight on where we've come in our society where you can't even crack a simple joke or say something on the Oscars without people completely losing their minds about it. So there's always a deeper reason and meaning behind my videos. You know, you may look at the headlines and you may look at the the thumbnail and think, oh, this is just another celebrity gossip video. But if you stick around and you watch my videos, you will realize that there's something more at, to why I covered certain stories. I pick and choose certain stories for a reason. And this Britney Spears story, like I said, it, it's been so relieving over these past few videos, just spilling everything out there that I've been silently feeling for months now, you know, and yeah, I just hope more people finally start speaking up as well. And I'm hoping that I'm wrong about all of this. I don't want to be proven right. Some people need to to have, you know, to like, they feel justified if, if everything they say comes to light. I hope I'm wrong about everything, literally. I hope I'm wrong. You know, I have nothing to gain by Britney Spears still being under control and not being able to live her life. I hope I am wrong, but unfortunately, my heart tells me otherwise. And I'm going to go with my heart. I'm not going to go with a bunch of weird, sadistic psychos on Twitter and on Instagram who are threatening my life and the life of my loved ones because they're mad that I'm concerned about Britney's mental health. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.